laser technology is continuing to advance at a fast rate, and governments around the world are investing billions in defensive and offensive laser capabilities. Today, we'll be taking a look at the tactical airborne laser system, the Mark II Mod Laser, and much more. Here are the top 15 most powerful lasers. Number 15. The Hercules Petawatt Laser while many of the lasers on this list are insanely powerful, none pack quite as much of a punch as the Hercules Petawatt laser. That's because while it's not the world's most powerful laser, it does hold the Guinness World Record for being the world's highest intensity focused laser. Developed at the University of Michigan in 2008, this laser has the ability to emit 20 billion trillion watts per square centimeter, with the laser pulse lasting for just 30 million billionths of a second. This means that the laser is so intense that it's the equivalent to focusing all the sunlight that hits the Earth onto a single grain of sand, making the power that comes through it absolutely insane. As a result, despite the world of laser creation having developed rapidly since 2008, no machine has been able to match it to this day. Number 14. The Tactical Airborne Laser Weapon System If you're a fan of the Star Wars franchise, then this weapon is a dream come true. That's because it's a defensive laser weapon that Lockheed Martin plans to attach to its aircraft by the year 2023. Now, in all fairness, it will likely not be used in intense firefights like we see in the movies. Instead, its primary purpose will be to shoot down incoming tactical missiles, such as air-to-air -air missiles and surface-to-air missiles. As a result, it will be an extremely powerful machine, and is set to be fueled by a set of batteries or capacitors that would be charged using the aircraft's jet turbine. And while more specifics on the power, range, and beam size of the weapon have not yet been disclosed by Lockheed Martin, we're sure upon completion, this laser will be nothing short of spectacular. Number 13. Submarine Warfare When you think of the Navy, massive battleships and large aircraft carriers are probably the first vehicles that come to mind. However, there are certain missions that submarines are extremely well suited for. And this has caused the U.S. Navy to begin to arm some of its attack submarines with high-energy lasers. Now, the submarines in question are top-of-the-line nuclear-powered Virginia-class submarines, and the current plan is that these submarines will be outfitted with 300 to 500 kilowatt lasers that will be powered by the sub's internal 30-megawatt nuclear reactor. It's more than likely than not that the laser will be incorporated into the periscope system of the submarine, where it will use a photonics mast and a 360-degree camera display to locate threats and destroy them almost instantly. Yet the exact reason as to why these lasers are being implemented is unknown, with many experts believing that it could be a cost-effective addition to combat against swarms of small targets, such as drones. However, once these lasers are fully operational, we wouldn't be surprised if they see quite a bit of use. Number 12. The Spider 3 Most of the powerful lasers on this list are limited to use by either the U.S. military or knowledgeable professionals, but the Spider 3 allows an extremely powerful laser to be delivered straight to your door, no matter who you are or where you are in the world. Holding the title of being the world's strongest commercially available handheld laser, it's completely legal to buy and has four modes of operation. And while the lighter modes are pretty harmless, its high-powered mode can do some serious damage as it has the potential to permanently blind someone or burn someone's skin in seconds. Thus, it's not considered to be a toy, but a bona fide weapon. And due to lax laws around lasers, you don't need any sort of permit to use one. Thus, while its creators warn the public that they should be used responsibly, only time will tell if no fatal incidents come from the use of this high-powered handheld laser. Number 11. The World's Largest Laser Cutter while laser cutters tend to only be found in office spaces and studios, the record holder in this category truly is larger than life. That's because the world record holder had a total area of 37 square meters and was built by Daniel Black, Zoe Laughlin, and Olivia Clements at the Institute of Making at University College in London on October 2nd of 2014. Now, the laser itself worked by outputting a laser beam at a wavelength of 445 nanometers, with this beam allowing the machine to etch and cut many materials. To top this off, it also featured a custom-made heatsink system, which allowed it to operate for long periods of time without overheating. As such, despite its size, it was in fact an effective and fully functional machine. Number 10. The Laser Weapon System As you might expect, the Laser Weapon System is exactly what it says it is. First unveiled in 2014, this weapon was a part of the USS Ponce, which was a former U.S. transport dock located in the Persian Gulf. 
While the USS Ponce was in fact decommissioned quite recently, the 30 kilowatt laser system on board was pretty top notch. Costing a total of $40 million to install, the system was operated using an Xbox style controller and had a number of modes that could be used for various types of attacks. For example, most operations first began by using the laser's low power dazzling mode, which was enough to catch the target's eye and potentially blind it, but not do any serious damage. If the threat continued to come through, the laser could then kick it up a notch, becoming powerful enough to fry sensors, burn out motors, and shoot down small pieces of equipment such as drones in as little as two seconds. Yet for larger pieces of equipment such as helicopters and boats, the laser was not exactly strong enough to destroy them. However, it certainly could disable them and effectively neutralize their potential danger. Therefore, while the laser weapon system was not quite as strong as some of the laser weapons seen in sci-fi films, it still was pretty cool. Number 9. The MK-2 Mod Zero While the laser weapon system was the US military's most powerful laser for quite some time, in 2020 it was eclipsed by the MK-2 Mod Zero. Also known as the Solid State Laser Technology Maturation Laser Weapon System Demonstrator, or LWSD, it was developed in a joint partnership by both the Office of Naval Research and Northrop Grumman, as fitted to the amphibious transport dock of the USS Portland. Now, what sets this laser apart is that it's 150 kilowatts in strength, which is incredible since it's five times more powerful than the laser weapon system, which was considered to be top of the line technology just six years ago. As a result, its capabilities are a step above it, as it's able to destroy UAVs, small boats, rockets, artillery, and mortars at a range of about six kilometers. However, it still does have its limits, as seaborne strife such as salt, wind, and poor weather can effectively neutralize its rays and make it a less than effective weapon. Yet when you consider that the technology is continuing to improve, and that it's far less expensive to implement in the long run than its missile-fueled counterparts, then it becomes clear that these laser-powered weapons really are the future. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Lunar Laser Experiment Lasers are easily some of the coolest mechanisms known to science, and in recent years they have been used to further our understanding of the cosmos. Perhaps the greatest example of this is the Lunar Laser Experiment, which since 2003 has been studying the moon with the help of a high-powered long-distance laser. Now, the laser in question is located at the McDonnell Laser Ranging Station near Fort Davis, Texas, and can measure the distance between the Earth and the moon to an accuracy of one centimeter. Interestingly, it's reached the desired target by bouncing off of reflective targets left on the lunar surface by three U.S. Apollo missions and two Soviet Lunokhod missions, with these surfaces reportedly only being approximate size of a laptop. What they've been used for this far is to determine the orbit, rotation, and orientation of the moon, and they have found that the centers of the Earth and moon are about 385,000 kilometers away from each other. However, thanks to the laser's continued use today, we know that the moon is receding from the Earth at a rate of about 3.8 centimeters per year, and it's expected that continued development of the program will give us even more data in which to work off of. As a result, we think it's fair to say that this space laser is easily one of the coolest on this list. Number 7. The Largest Laser Show Few spectacles are quite as illuminating as a laser show, as they showcase beams of light that can brighten up even the largest of stadiums. And while they have become popular at a wide variety of events, the largest one on record was held at the LDI Trade Show at the Las Vegas Convention Center in 2017. That's because the seven-minute long laser show put on a display at LDI used a combination of 314 individual laser fixtures and 822 laser emission sources with this taking up a combined total of 1,377 watts of power. However, this spectacle came at quite a cost, that the sum of all these fixtures was a massive $3.5 million, yet most would agree that its record-breaking status made it a worthwhile expense. However, a new contender for this record is now in the process of getting their attempt approved. That's because in October of 2019, the Los Angeles Kings, which are the city's professional hockey team, celebrated the 20th anniversary of their arena by pulling off a light show that used a grand total of 642 lasers and even more emission sources. Yet until their record is officially tabulated, it will still stand behind its 2017 counterpart. Number 6. Laser-Powered Flight while laser-powered flight has become all but obsolete in recent years, in the early 2000s there was a lot of confidence that it could be the next big thing. They work by using lasers to give propulsion to an aircraft. 
And while early test flights were not too successful, it was thought that as laser technology improved, so would laser flight. And in all honesty, the field did seem promising, as in the year 2000, the laser-powered altitude record was by Lightcraft Technologies at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. They did this by getting a light craft that was 12.2 centimeters in diameter to a height of 71 meters, powered only by light, with the ground crew using a 10 kilowatt pulsed carbon dioxide laser on the ground to fire upwards at the aircraft. However, it soon became clear that these laser-powered escapades were not all that practical, as once these aircraft reach a certain distance, it becomes near impossible to reach them with a laser with any accuracy. In fact, Phil Coyle, who works for the Center of Defense Information and is the Pentagon's former top technology tester, summarized it best by saying that these aircraft are severely limited by the power of their lasers, small size, and the tiny amounts of propellant they carry. As a result, by the year 2010, most experiments surrounding them were essentially scrapped. Number 5. A Lightsaber Let's face it, if you watched anything in the Star Wars series as a kid, then you definitely wanted to have a lightsaber at one point or another. And while many of you possibly went out and bought a plastic play toy that looked like the lightsaber, in 2020, engineer and YouTube personality James Hobson put his skills to use and made a real one. What we mean by this is that it was fully functional and was in fact so powerful that it can slice steel. And while the science behind it is quite complicated, in simple terms he pulled off this incredible feat by inducing laminar flow. This means that he combined propane with oxygen and sent it through laminar nozzles, which generate a highly concentrated flow of gas to create a plasma beam. Then, in order to make the lightsaber look legitimate, he added additional chemicals to the mix so that they could shine in a variety of different colors. For example, he used sodium chloride to turn the beam yellow, boric acid to make it green, strontium chloride to make it red, and calcium chloride to produce an amber color. However, you do have to keep in mind here that this lightsaber came with a couple of caveats. After all, it's able to capture and control an amount of energy that is so large, Hobson claims it's nearly enough to power a nuclear plant. Therefore, the power can't just come from anywhere. Thus, by necessity, the lightsaber is connected to a custom-built backpack that serves as the power source, with a circuit being engineered inside of it that can control the flow of gas. Yet the result of this was absolutely stunning, as it's not only extended and retracted on command, but could also heat up to a temperature of about 2200 degrees Celsius. Yet while this lightsaber may be insanely cool, don't expect to get your hands on one anytime soon. After all, just one of the laminar nozzles found in the lightsaber can cost about 4000 bucks alone, with this not including the many other inputs that go into making one. Regardless, we still think that owning one of these would be pretty neat. Number 4. The 10 Petawatt Laser You've heard of kilowatts, you've heard of megawatts, and you've probably heard of gigawatts. But this laser blows all of its competition out of the park by being one of the world's one and only 10 petawatt laser. Absolutely unstoppable in terms of its strength, this laser's 10 petawatt power beam is equivalent to 10 million billion watts, meaning that it's able to basically vaporize anything it comes into contact with. The laser itself was first proposed by French scientist and Nobel Prize winner Gerard Moreau in the mid-2000s, and it came to life after he secured about 850 million euros in funding from the European Regional Development Fund. This led to the countries of Romania, Hungary, and the Czech Republic being selected to be the homes of these lasers, with Hungary ultimately housing the 10 petawatt giant seen here today. Located in the Extreme Light Infrastructure Nuclear Physics Facility, or ELINP, in a town close to the Hungarian capital of Bucharest, at first a laser may seem a little pointless. After all, besides destroying stuff, what exactly could such a beam be used for? However, its creators have noted that it could be used to explore how heavy metals are formed treat cancer with a proton therapy, handle and detect radioactive waste, and even model the creation of a supernova. Thus, while the actual size of the laser may be a mere 60 centimeters in diameter, its raw concentrated power is absolutely incredible. Number 3. The Supercharged Laser Pointer While laser pointers are the tool of choice for teachers, presenters, and salesmen across the planet, the 0.005 watt rendition used by the average Joe is no match for the world's most powerful laser pointer. Created by Drake Anthony and displayed on his YouTube channel, Styropyro, this homemade creation makes use of a blue laser diode array in order to construct this high-powered machine. For reference, the array is designed to be used individually in devices like laser-based projectors for large movie theaters, but for the purposes of his experiment, Drake used it in a handheld device that could fire out 20 laser beams with over 100 watts of power. 
and while this meant that the laser had a few minor flaws, after all its battery life is limited to just 7 minutes, its capacity totally makes up for it. This is because it takes less than a second for the laser pointer to set paper bags and wooden 2x4s on fire, and just a few seconds to melt the glass of a beer bottle. Thus, it goes without saying that this little laser is stronger than ones found in the typical classroom. While this laser may be pretty cool, we advise against trying to make one at home. After all, its 100 watt strength is about 200 times more powerful than the rating of a dangerous class 4 laser, and without knowing the physics behind them, these lasers could ultimately lead to your demise. Therefore, we suggest sitting back, grabbing some popcorn, and watching Drake do his work rather than attempting to make these inventions yourself. Number 2. The PicoSure Laser Tattoo Remover Let's face it, some tattoos are absolutely awful. And be it a large face tat that you got while drunk or the name of a significant other that ended up cheating on you, some tattoos don't exactly age all that well. However, the PicoSure Laser Tattoo Remover is a simple yet effective solution to this problem. Now, these lasers work by delivering powerful laser pulses that are just one trillionth of a second in length to the skin. These hit the ink particles beneath the skin with massive amounts of pressure and at a heat of about 300 degrees Celsius, and due to them doing so at a highly specific wavelength, they allow the ink pigments in the skin to shatter into minuscule dust-like particles. These are then absorbed by the immune system and flushed away by the body. Now, by most accounts, the Pico Shure is the gold standard in terms of tattoo removal. After all, while traditional treatments often take 16 to 20 attempts to remove 50 to 75% of a tattoo, Pico Shure treatments generally achieve 85 to 100% removal after just 6 to 9 appointments. However, these treatments have quite a few drawbacks as well. After all, not only does it take 7 days to recover from just one appointment, but the lasers are also powerful enough to cause skin lightening, scarring, and infections. To make matters worse, these treatments are also rather expensive and typically cost thousands of dollars for the removal of a single tattoo once all is said and done. Therefore, while it certainly is the best solution on the market, it would probably be best to avoid being subjected to this high power laser unless absolutely necessary. Number 1. The IFPC-HEL The US Army is the world's premier fighting force. Thus, it shouldn't come as a surprise that they are looking towards laser technology in order to give them an extra edge. And while they already have a limited amount of laser weapons in their arsenal, the most ambitious by far is the IFPC-HEL. While it likely won't enter service until 2024, this weapon is set to be one of a kind, as it will be able to pump out 250 to 300 kilowatt beams of light. For reference, that's about two times stronger than the US Army's most powerful laser to date, which is the 150 kilowatt LWSD laser system that was fitted to the amphibious transport dock of the USS Portland in 2020. Currently, the plan is that the IFPC-HEL will, like most lasers, be powered by an electric generator, meaning that it can theoretically shoot an infinite amount of times with an estimated cost of about 10 bucks per shot. The strength of the laser will likely make these shots extremely effective as they should theoretically be powerful enough to destroy targets as large as incoming cruise missiles. This would be a massive improvement from current laser weapons, which are limited in effectiveness when it comes to actually destroying many threats. Unsurprisingly, this has meant that the US Army, Navy, and Air Force all have been looking to develop this technology, as they have a leg up on traditional weaponry thanks to their fast reaction time. The fact that they quite literally travel at the speed of light and their ability to fire a large quantity of deadly shots without the need to load bullets, missiles, or shells. Therefore, while the IFPC-HEL may not have many similar counterparts, we wouldn't be surprised if laser-powered weapons such as this one become more common in the near future. Watch our Machines playlist for more Top 15 videos about awesome machines. Sit back, relax, and binge-watch all of our best machine videos.